We got a good one here. We got a good one here, guys. What's up, guys? Back with another video. All right, so we're on the lake again. Yesterday, I took a buddy out, and uh, we fished till about 9.30. The fish were jumping off on the uh, the main lake, hitting topwaters. We just couldn't connect with nothing. Whatever we were putting down, they just weren't picking up. Got my wife with me today, so maybe she'll be my good luck charm. And uh, we're gonna fish a couple of these drop-offs, and hopefully get up on some of these uh, these bass that are moving up to the top. I've got some weightless flukes tied on. I've even got some drop shots, some spinner baits. Hopefully, we can catch some fish today. We're just going to fish this bluff here. There's a drop off right over there where that guy is. Right past those buoys. We're just going to fish all the way up till we get over there. and Hopefully we can get some of these schooling bass. Kind of keep making our way out to this point over here and then see if we can get on some of these schooling bass. Oh, got a fish on here, guys. Got a good one here. Got a good one here, guys. Keep this guy in here. All right. Oh, man. That was a big one, guys. About three pounder we just lost right there. <laughs> well, I just turned off the camera just for a brief second because we got a a jig stuck in the uh, the tree line over there. And as soon as that happened, I had about a three pound bass on. Snapped me off. Probably my mistake. I was running that six pound fluorocarbon. Just wasn't enough for that line. I had the fish in my hand and she just spun that thing right off of me that was a good fish though wasn't it mm -hmm. well let's see if we can do that again oh yeah oh. i think it's time to put the garment on guys get this bad boy plugged in and See what we can do. He's probably like that guy just caught a three and a half pounder and blew it. <laughs> what a rookie. Okay guys, we're out on uh one of the ledges here. Let's see if we can get some of these schooling bass. Got the tail dipped in a little bit of garlic sauce. Some of that chartreuse. Just on the tail. Just on the tip. And we're sitting in about 15 feet of water. A couple pods under us. It's amazing, isn't it? How many fish just keep jumping up and around us? Got one right there. One right behind us. One right there. They're all around us, guys. What are we doing wrong here? We are literally sitting right on top of them, guys. Right on top of them. I don't know, man. These suckers are tricky. Got one. Fish on, guys. Fish on. Yeah, it's a little guy. There we go. Fish on, guys. It's a little guy there. Well, tiny little fish there. Fish on. Got it on that white fluke. There we go. Shoosh. I was starting to wonder what we were doing wrong. I had to switch to my big old bait caster here. Because I just had a massive, massive wind knot situation where. That sucker was down so deep, I basically had to unspool the whole rod. I, yeah, I know. Right when I got on, I was over there. I broke off a three pounder. And uh, I was out here yesterday, nothing. 
Couldn't connect with anything. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. He's off. Well, guys, we've been on the lake for a couple of hours now. So far, it's been kind of slow. Caught a, a pretty good size, maybe three pounder, right when we got on the lake. Got it with a, uh, a white spinner, a little split tail uh, trailer on the end of it. Broke that one off, got in the middle of the lake, fished that around a little bit, did a little bit of uh, fluke fishing. Got one right in the middle, then the uh, the bite kind of died down a little bit. So we moved in a little bit more shallow, see if we can get on some of these fish. i um, throwing a white paddle tail right now, and uh, hopefully we can uh, get a couple more before it gets too dark. I think we got a stick bass here, guys. Oh man, there was something under there. There was something under there. Stick bass. Getting it under there. Is there a bass under there? I don't know. We're gonna find out. Maybe there's That sucker under there, man. Well guys, we made it over to the other side of the lake. Still no luck in the dog days of summer for sure. I was talking to another guy that was out on the lake and uh, he wasn't doing too hot either. He only caught a couple. But other than that, um, having a lot of fun. I mean, it's always nice to get out on the lake, especially when it's a nice day like this. It's not too hot. Bugs aren't really killing us yet. Well, I think we'll uh, do a little bit more fishing. Hopefully we can get one before the sun goes completely down. And if not, uh, we'll, uh, we'll definitely try this again and hopefully we'll see you guys in the next one. See ya! Oh yeah, fish on! Got one, guys. That's a good one right here. I'm not going to let this one out. Oh, yeah. I'll let this one out. I don't know if you guys can see that one, but that's a good sized bass right there. A couple pounds. What do you think about that one, babe? Let's go ahead and let her go. Oh yeah, fish on guys. That's another good one right here. Oh, that's a good one right here. Hold on. Hey, this is a good one, babe. A real good one. Another good one here. She's going under the boat. There we go. Another nice little two pounder. Nice. Broke off a three pounder today. Just had about a two and a half. I'd say this one's about, about two pounds. All right. I got a zero pounder. Uh, Sasha got a zero pounder. Well, I hope you guys can see those fish. It's about nine o'clock at night and it is pretty darn dark out here. And we are catching all these fish right now in about four feet of water. They're just right up on the edge.